Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave and today we've got Winchester 73 starring James Stewart. A very nice interesting film because now James Stewart goes by the name of Lynn in his film. L-I-N. And he wins this uh, Winchester 73, brand new rifle to the environment, you know, brand new, in a game show. And it gets engraved on the, um, the back piece we held against his shoulder. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, um, it gets engraved saying congratulations she won this. You got a name on there. But somehow he loses it. It gets taken away from him and it gets passed around in the film and he must go and search for it and try and get it back. Uh, only because his own father got killed by a uh, vicious young man, as it was. So, like, fantastic film to unfold. And each him and him and his buddy go across, or well, Link goes across the sort of American plains to uh, fight, these, fight these people and find his gun. But they catch up with this wagon train, who they sort of tag along with a little bit, and uh, have to uh, put the wagon in a circle because uh, they get attacked by Indians. And of course, they'll hold them off a little bit, and sort of it all works out quite nicely. Nice little gunfight, actually. I like the way the uh, Indians come to the top of the hill and then charge down to the wagon, sort of thing, and everyone's sort of ready there. The gun sort of pointed out, ready, and fires. A really spectacular bit of drama. I really quite like that bit. There's one point I think that really sticks out in the whole film. So I recommend just watching for that, I just, you know, why not? Anyway, and then he moves on somewhere else. Um, somewhere else, because uh, there's a young Indian, uh, Rock Hudson, a bit of a strange Indian myself, but he stars in this, and uh, of course James Stewart, Lynn, who has to take the rifle back from him. A bit of dealing goes along, a bit of shooting and all that, sort of usual thing, people die, and the rifle gets you know, passed on someone else. And that someone else is Lynn's own brother. Now, He's the man that killed the father, so he must go and find him and kill him. Which, it takes a nice, you know, nice turn of events. There's a town in there, and there's a bit of you know, gambling and drinking, and all past that nicely. So, of course, he uh, run up, you know, Lynn's brother sort of run, gets on a horse and sort of charge that town where Lynn sort of following after a bit of gunfight, you know. And that's a good, good three, four miles sort of run into the hills. And you know, they shooting down at the good hills with the rocks, sort of thing. And they're both climbing up, trying to get away from each other. Like, one getting away, one trying to catch up. Uh, anyway, one shooting down at one, one shooting the other. And there's a nice little bit of back and forth. You get the bullets ricocheting off the old rock work, you know. Birdie excellent. I don't know how they um, attach these sort of little pyrotechnics to the rocks and actually You don't see nothing until boom, a little explosion, you know, the bullets are hit. Well, they judged by the angle of the rock, you would have thought it would have pinged off in the direction, but it doesn't. You, know, you hear the one little explosion on the, the rock sort of thing. It's quite interesting, actually. I like, uh, I don't know how to do that. If you know, please don't tell, me, tell me down below in the comments. But anyway, it sort of gets back and forth, and then Lin catches up his brother and eventually kills him and gets back his rifle that he's been after for the past. I think must be in. About a month or something, I reckon. I don't know how long it's spandex, it doesn't really say. So I reckon it's about a four week sort of hunt down, sort of a, a rifle sort of job. But it's a black and white film, and it's really entertaining, but it's really exciting. And it's really dynamic and different, because they, apparently they reckon this is what most films fall on from. Now, this film's back from 1977, so a bit of an old film, but. Still not quite as early as others, but it's really good still. It's in black and white, James Stewart is in the mid 40s, I reckon. And it, he does a really good job. I like James Stewart. He has that sort of voice that really sort of stands out. It's very different to others. And I, I like that. I like how he talks. I like how he acts. It's very simple, but it does make a statement. And in this, it is very good as well. I like it. I really do. So the story of the men and gun who won the West Hits the bullseye every time. Of course, the bullseye, I'll let you work out what that was in the game show. It's quite a simple one to work out, so. Uh, so, yeah, it's in the front. The back, it's got a lot of text on the back. I'm not much reason to say about the story itself, about the film, but it's better more of a cast than that, so very nice sort of laid out. A bit strange with the colour at the top, the black and white pictures. Inside, got the black case and a nice little disc, but not much on the disc, there's Winchester 73. I wish I put a picture of James Stewart or something on there, it would have been it's more excellent. But uh, yeah, you got, again, you got you got Shelley Winters in this one. So and she has a nice little bit of touch to it. 
which brings that sort of holding sort of um, dynamic sort of side to it, which uh, evolves quite a lot. Really quite a good uh, actress she is, so in this film, it makes Jane Stewart, you know, really sort of soft in a way, makes him a bit more gentle, giant sort of thing, making him a bit more, uh, a bit more real, a bit more humble as such. So, yeah, I really quite recommend it. Special features, an interview with James Stewart, original theatrical trailer, and audio only. Where's the audio part? So, yeah, so I don't know what the audio part is in this, but it's got those audio across next to it, so can't see where it is. Oh, that's the interview, James Stewart. <laughs> Audio only. Well, yeah, what else do I think it's going to be? So yeah, um, Winchester 73, really interesting film, very dynamic, excellent black and white film, really exciting, nice little bit of pyrotechnics in there, very simply done, but very powerful, and I do recommend it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.